This is Quick and Simple Life Hacks, a collection of time-saving tips and tricks so you can get things done faster. And today we'll have some help from our sponsor, Google Chromebooks. Let's kick this off with a cleaning tip. Dusting your blinds is something many of us neglect until we've grown a small colony of dust on our shades. You can grab some paper towels and slowly work your way around from panel to panel, hitting the tops and bottoms and wasting a lot of time in the process. Or you can try this. Get yourself two small rags, microfiber's best if you have it, Fold them up a few times until you have a nice little package, and then bust out a pair of tongs. Carefully wrap the first towel around one of the grips, keeping it as snug as possible. Try to minimize extra fabric hanging off, and then take a rubber band and wrap it around the base. You're probably going to need to do this twice for a secure hold, but when it's done, do the same thing for the other grip until you end up with something that looks like this. Now head over to your blinds and insert the end of the tongs between the panels, using a back and forth motion to get rid of any dirt, grime, or dust. You might be a little slow at first, but after a couple transitions, you'll knock out the entire job in a quarter of the time it would have taken with a duster or simple paper towels. Being able to apply pressure on both sides at the same time really makes short work of this normally tedious task, and you'll end up with some nice, sparkling clean blinds. When it comes to writing an essay or even a business proposal, the hardest part is getting that first line written. You might try multiple ways to start it and just keep deleting it being unhappy with the result. A super quick way to get over that hump is to just speak out what's on your mind and see where it leads you. You can just load up Google Docs, which is free and can completely replace your expensive word processor. Once you're in, head over to Tools and hit Voice Typing. You now have an extremely powerful voice-to-text converter to do your bidding and save you tons of time. You can just set out your machine, hit the Listen button, and dictate your entire document while you multitask. In fact, I wrote this entire script while cleaning my kitchen. Oh, comma, it even listens to your commands involving punctuation, period, text color red. Or you can just bring attention to a particular sentence utilizing various text commands. New paragraph. Our sponsor, Google Chromebook, sent us one of their awesome laptops to take for a spin, and we quickly found out that the Chromebook is a huge time saver. For example, all your office software needs are integrated right into the operating system. Not to mention these things can run Android apps from the Google Play Store, which is pretty awesome, especially with the multi-touch screen. It's sleek, lightweight, and ready to tackle all kinds of crazy tasks that you throw at it. In fact, all the computer tips you'll see in this video were done using the Chromebook, so we'll check out more later. But first, let's shave a little time off your laundry day. You gotta empty out that lint trap every time you use your dryer or it can cause fires. However, a lot of time can be wasted picking off all that lint from the crevices and making sure it's ready for another batch of laundry. Here's an extremely useful tip and you probably already have what you need sitting in your dryer. Next time you're drying some clothes and go to pull the lint trap, dig around first and locate your used dryer sheet. These things have a propensity to attract lint like a magnet. Just quickly rub it around your lint trap and make short work the job. Not only will you get that trap cleaned faster, but you'll also get it cleaned more thoroughly, picking up all the little particulate that usually gets left behind. It's nice to be able to keep an eye on your home when you're at work or out running errands, but setting up a series of security cameras can be a daunting and time-consuming task. For this example, we'll be utilizing the Chromebook since it can run Android apps, but keep in mind you can follow the same process with your Android phone as well. Go ahead and load up the Play Store and type in IP Webcam. Go ahead and download it. This will let you use the built-in camera to live stream whatever it sees directly to another computer, phone, or even tablet. Once you have it open, set up cloud streaming and make an account with iVideon. This only takes a second. Hit the Start Broadcast button and let it download any extra things it needs to run. Now find the location that you want to monitor while you're away. I like keeping tabs on my backyard, so I popped open the shade and placed the Chromebook with a good vantage point. Now that things are running, grab your phone and download the iVideon app. This is going to let you see the security camera you just set up from anywhere in the world with an internet connection. Let's see what I've got going on. Hmm, looks pretty no- Ah, well that's creepy, time to call the local PD. Now you could also set this up as a baby monitor or maybe even a way to check on your pets. Tons of possibilities, just put it wherever you need it. If you've got a paint job on your hands, then you might want to keep your eyes peeled. We typically dump our paint right into the tray and don't think twice about it. You go about your business and get the job done, whatever it is. However, when it's time to change colors or even just put the tray away, you might end up with tons of wet leftover paint. If you let it dry, you'll ruin the pan and possibly even get off-color paint chips in your next project. This tip takes about 20 seconds and will save you tons of time so you can avoid having to blast out your paint tray with water every time you use it. Grab a simple garbage bag with drawstrings and slide the paint tray right inside. The paint will weigh down the plastic and keep it secure, but you can also press everything into place if you want. 
Go ahead and pour your paint right in and get to rolling. I'll just finish painting my butcher's block here. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. When you're done, just remove the bag, flipping it inside out as you pull it from the tray. Now just bunch it up and toss it in the trash. You'll end up with a fresh and shiny tray that's ready to tackle the next paint job. Oh, and perhaps a multicolored cutting board that may or may not be useless. If you've ever given a presentation or slideshow, then you probably know how time consuming it is to hook up your computer to a TV or a projector. You need your HDMI or other connector cable and probably some sort of an adapter if you can even find it. Here's a quick solution, wirelessly stream it instead. Get yourself a Chromecast and plug it into the TV or projector that you want to push your signal to. Once it powers up, all you have to do is load up Chrome and hit the cast button. You have the option to send just your browser window or your entire desktop. I don't much feel like giving a presentation just yet, so we'll fire over the desktop and play some mobile games on the big screen. It's really that simple and you can do it with anything that runs Chrome. The Chromebook made it pretty simple because it works out of the box. So if you have to do a presentation, you can set everything up in about 30 seconds, making your audience wait less and getting you out of the spotlight quicker. Not to mention it's great for family gatherings where you want to show off your 21st century picture show. When your spice rack is a chaotic mess, it's difficult to locate what you need. The solution takes a little bit of prep, but it'll save you so much time in the long run that it's worth the three minutes that you have to invest. Find an empty drawer in your kitchen or just clear one out. Then sit at the table with some adhesive labels and all your spices. Write the name of all your spices on the labels and stick them to the top of each container. You can attempt to color code them if that's your thing, but I found it was difficult to find an ongoing theme. Just work your way through your spice stash until they're all rocking a top side label. Now put them all in the empty drawer you cleared out and marvel at how quick and simple it is to find whatever you need next time you're cooking. Now if you don't have a drawer available, you can also put them back on the rack by height. Assuming your rack is slightly below eye level, you should get the same effect as the drawer, saving you just as much time. Well, we certainly hope this video will help free up some time during your day and amp up your productivity. Big thanks to Google Chromebooks for sponsoring our video. If you want to get one for yourself, check the link in the description. You can learn more information about them and find out where to pick one up. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.